Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. Today I'm making a cute little popcorn and gloves treat holder and here's the one I prepared earlier. I'm going to make a couple of tweaks. I'm going to make it a little bit wider so we don't get that kind of crease there. Um, but yeah, let's just crack on and do it. So first things first, these are magic gloves bought from Amazon and um, they work out about a pound a pair. Um, so nice cheap gifts. So I'm just putting the two gloves together to make the hat. Okay, so I can just play about with that and then they are ready for when we've made our holder. Okay, bit of ribbon to do that. I've got a full sheet of A4 card. I've got a bit of um, Calypso Coral and a little bit of black and white. I have put googly eyes on this one. Um, but obviously if you have safety concerns, um, then you perhaps don't want to do that. So I've got an alternative for you with these um, punched eyes as well. Okay, so um, there are some retired products that I'm using in this. I don't normally do that, but as I said, these are for craft fairs. Um, and so I'm making a little exception, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. Um, so these um, buttons um, are just black card using dies from the retired all dressed up set. Um, and as I say, if you don't want to use the googly eyes, then I would use um, a half inch circle punch and a three eighths or smaller circle punch, whatever you've got. Um, so that one isn't even a Stampin' Up! one, um, but it's what I've got. So, let's get on. No more messing about. Bring in my Simply Scored. And find my tool, there it is. So I want to score that at three inches. And as I say, I'm making this a little bit bigger, so I'm going three and a half inches. Turn that around and score the bottom at a half inch. And I'm just going to turn that around again and score the top at three quarters of an inch. Okay, let's not put that away yet. I've got... Just folding that up, okay, so that we've got the short, shortest piece going in first and then the longer piece. And then I've got that half inch at the top there and it's just an extra little detail. I am just scoring that every quarter of an inch just down to that line. Okay. Maybe take a, a bit more time over it and make sure that you're only going to that line. I maybe should even have my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> but you get the drift. And it, I just kind of think it's quite nice because it mirrors the ribbing on the cuffs of the gloves. That's the only reason I'm doing it. If I was making tons of these, not bother with that bit. <laughs> All right, so need a bit of glue, and the bit that we have just added the score lines to, I am adding glue all the way along that to make sure that it all adheres nicely. And I'm going to fold that over, give that a little gentle press. I want it to stick down, but I don't want to get rid of the, the ribbing. Okay, and then I'm going to put a line of glue along this edge. Just going to add some glue along there as well. Belt and braces. And then I've got a piece 
I'm going to add glue right along that edge there as well and along there. Okay, so we've got glue at that side and glue at that side. So that panel should be nice. And I've put glue where I don't need it. <laughs> Always have my trusty adhesive eraser. Or an embossing body will take the sticky away as well. And it does dry clear. It's just the sticky I don't like. All right, so we've got our little package. I'm going to just fold that over. Go and fold it again. And that just gives a wee bit more stability to the gloves. So open that back up, pop in my popcorn, close that, fold it over. So I'm still getting a little bit of a crease there, but it's not as bad as the first one. Okay, then pop me gloves on. Magic gloves, super stretchy. I'll make sure I've got both the cuffs on there. There we are. Doesn't look like much now, does it? I've got that little addition of the ribbon. It makes all the difference. So this is um, gingham ribbon. You could colour it. You could use white ribbon. You could try and find a ribbon that matches your gloves. Good luck with that. <laughs> But yeah, so stop faffing about here and tie this damn thing. Just pull it taut and then into a bow. And it'll kind of relax out a little bit again. Drop off my ends. Oops. Okay, so we've got that bit done. Um, then it's just a case of doing the face. Now, as I say, I have got some bits prepped, um, but I'm going to show you how I did the carrot noses. This is the two inch circle punch, which is still available as an online exclusive. And then I'm just going to take the snips and chop that. Roughly. Snowman's nose ain't perfect. Carrots, not perfect. If you've got a blunt end like that, just go in again. All right, so you can get four from your circle there you could take a bit more time over it just to give it a more carroty look i've used my um stamp and write marker and i'm just adding lines they don't have to be straight all different lengths different thicknesses whatever okay so we've got our carrot and you could use pumpkin pie. I just thought that Calypso Coral was a little bit nicer, a bit more earthy, if you like. So um, that's the one we've just done. So I need to die cut more of those. You get, or you got um, two. These are um, the larger dies that were in this set. Let me just show you the packet, even though it's retired. So it made up a lovely little handbag and you got two small buttons and two larger buttons there so I'm just going to die cut those okay make up my sandwich there we go ready to go through Oops. 
Where did that button go? There it is. Uh, let me take you back. There we are. Now, just pop out the little bits. So, as I say, I had die cut one earlier because you can only die cut two at a time and I didn't want to have to watch me do it second time. So, they're going to go there. Whilst I've got this here, I am going to show you how I did the eyes. So, this is lost. <laughs> this is uh, three eighths of an inch punch and my little white bit where are you there you are half inch circle punch okay just glue one to the other tweezers job right and i didn't put it right down to the bottom so there's just a tiny little margin there okay and then I have a white gel pen just picked up in a stationery store. Nothing special. Um, but just to add a little bit more detail, I just put a little dot and then a little bit down. So it's kind of like a comma apostrophe type thing. All right. So let's place things. Make sure that I've got enough space now the eyes don't pop quite so much as they do with the googly eyes but as i say sometimes safety is more important and we could all do with a little bit less plastic in the world eh? so i'm going to move them up a little bit because i think in fact that was a bit too squished down okay so glue where are you happy with that I mean, if you've got bigger circles, then yeah, go for, go for using them. Right. A little bit of glue on there. Still kind of think that's a little bit too wide. There's no right, no wrong. Let's face it, no kid getting these gloves and microwave popcorn's going to go, I don't like the proportions of his face. Also used my two inch circle punch on just a piece of uh, cardboard packaging. And I'm going to pop that there and use that as a guide with my stamp and write marker. To just draw the smile okay and then just a little bit extra detail at the end and then i have a mini blending brush flirty flamingo ink and just add a little bit round about there Cute. It's sweet, isn't it? And then final bit was just to add these little buttons. One on there. there. You could line up the holes nicely if you wanted to. That depends on how your mind goes. I'm quite happy to have mine higgledy piggledy. There we go. Lovely, quick, easy, 
hope you can actually see them. That was the one I made with googly eyes and this one with just um, using punches for the eyes on there. You could perhaps use a little um, bit colour round about the outside just to, to kind of make them pop a bit. But I think they're cute. I hope you do too. Um, as I say, some of the products that I've used are not stamping up um, and some are retired. But I will put a link to the current products that I have used in my blog post along with the measurements. And you'll get a link to that in the description for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, take care. Bye bye.